Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very interesting demonstration about our smoke technology. Now, this is a screen we've been working on for quite some time. We had some people out there who pretty much thought they had the screen figured out until we started doing demonstrations of the screen producing images in direct sunlight at 50%. It was actually uh, producing sunlight was traveling to the screen. The screen was able to pull an image uh, right through the window and actually show an image on the opposite side. Came back and did it around a little later in the evening. Still a lot of light hitting the side of the house. And the screen still had the ability to produce an amazing image outside and inside the home. So later on the day, we did a demonstration outside. Uh, showing off the screen uh, on a Panasonic 1500 lumen projector, which I have right over there. Uh, as I said, I'll post all these at the bottom of the comments section. And even when we had it outside with the 4300 lumen projector also too, showing that the screen does not hot spot or does not glare up on the screen. Now, in this demonstration, I'm going to be using my 50 lumen pocket projector over here. We're going to be pushing the image all the way across the table. We're going to make contact with the uh, glass plastic container in the middle of the plastic container it's submerged in water since yesterday eight o'clock i have a piece of the screen cut off and actually submerged on the water now i did one of these demonstrations live it didn't come out too well like i said live comes out a bit gritty and i want you to be to see what i'm seeing on the other end and the best way to do this to do this only on pre-recording now on this side as i said before the projector is going to come here it's going to hit the glass container it's going to push an image through the water it's going to make contact Contact with the screen the screen is going to produce an image from the back and not only is it going to produce an image from the back but it's going to reproduce an image from the front also so we'll be able to see over the top you'll see the BC there and I don't want people thinking well it's just on the plastic container only that's all you're seeing no I'm going to show you all the way around the screen so first things first let's begin with our first demonstration okay so I'm going to start off here. I think I might have lost my feed. Hold on for a minute. Yeah. I think we lost our feed. Hold on. Let's see if we can go back a bit. There we go. Lost it. We disconnected for a minute. I'm going to rise up so you can see inside that it's physically hitting the screen and not you're not just seeing something reflected off the glass, a plastic container. I keep saying glass, a plastic container. And then we'll come around to the back. We can see the image from the back. And we'll show you inside. Right here, we can see that it's not hitting, it's not reflecting off here, it's coming off here. All right. Come back over again on this side. All right, we'll push this up a little farther in. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Look inside. So you can see that this is pushing through the water, hitting the screen from the back, and um, producing an image on the opposite side. And that's why I have the screen sitting right in the center of the bottle. It's not touching here and it's not touching there. Come back around. Okay. There's a lot of things that smokes have the capable of doing and I found it kind of interesting how some people uh, felt the need to basically show off and say hey look this is how he's designing the smoke and so forth keep in mind the screen was at 10 percent done they haven't even seen the other capabilities which we didn't show on exactly what the screen can do i was pretty amazed because that's the first time i've ever seen it take on sunlight and that's the first time i did that demonstration and that that pretty much Man, it rattled me. I was like, wow. It was able to produce an image through sunlight. Now we're pushing an image through water. At 50 lumens. 
And as I said before, this is not reflecting off the, off the uh, plastic container. Because you can see it right there. Because I'm going to have those, you're going to say, well, that's not possible. Now look at this. Look at this. There's no image here at all. See that? No image there at all. But if you come over here, you can see the image crystal clear on our end. I'm going to pause it right there. So you can see right there. See right there? There's an image right there. Now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show you the same thing on this side. See where my hands are moving at? No image. See that? See my hands right there? No image at all. So there's no image on that side because it cannot produce an image on it. It's a plastic bottle. Plastic bottles cannot produce images. But if you come over here, you can see the image crystal clear. do things on a completely different level than other people. I'm going to come back here for a minute. I just want to show the woman's face. Now you see her face there, crystal clear. Come over here and show you inside. There's her face right there. Come over and show you the other side, with the glass container, no face. There you go. So you can see it for yourself. So what you're seeing through here is what you're seeing that's coming off the screen, not off the side of the container. I like this video. The guy on the drum really gets it in. He's really having a ball. All right, so now we're going to bring up some fish. Look at the image on the fish. This from a distance. Bring the bottle all the way up, a little closer up to me. So that way it projects all the way back there. And you can still see the fish moving. I'll bring it a little farther up because I don't want the tiller to the side. It's right near the edge. You can see the fish again. And then I'll bring it all the way up. So this this technology we developed is fully weatherproof. You don't have to worry about the screen cracking or peeling. It can be submerged underwater for interesting displays. On top of that, it's very flexible. This is a wallpaper front and rear technology, and it has the ability, like I said, to take on a ton of ambient light, such as uh, the direct sunlight. Now, I'll put those at the bottom of the comment section so you can see that for yourself. You can see the demonstration of the screen taking on direct sunlight. You can see the screen producing images outside around in the evening hours. Hours, still with a lot of light hitting the, hitting the side of the house. You can also see the demonstrations on the Panasonic uh, 1500 lumen projector we did outside. Well, it's a good thing I did get, it. I get inside really quick. It's windy out there right now. You can see all those different demonstrations that I'm going to have on display uh, actually at the bottom where you can actually check out the links. Come around here to the side, to the top. So you can see there's the image there. And as you come here, no image. You can only see the image on our screen. And I want you to see that it sits right in the center. There's my screen right in the center, so it's not hitting here. So it doesn't look like the image is basically pushing off of here. It's completely separate from the plastic container. And you can see from the back. Now just to show you that the plastic container cannot produce an image, I'm going to take my screen out of the bottle.
There you go. So it's not, some people think, oh, it's a plastic bottle producing the image. No, it isn't. A plastic bottle can't produce an image. That is my screen in the center. And that's the only way you can see it. That's why my screen is there. Other than that, you won't see anything. This is what makes this technology so amazing. Keep in mind, it still has the ability to push an image. You can see an image, even if the image is pushing through water, it can, the screen can still generate an image. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time and God bless.